Is it an Atlantic cord? It's an Atlantic cord. This is not a polar cord. It's how an Atlantic cord. How is it possible? Cord. This is how uh, you know yeah, the door. Yes, it's a. It's too big for a polar cod too. We thought it was polar cod because that's the fish we expect there, or perhaps ice cod. But no, it was Atlantic cod. So we, we really, really, really were, were excited because it's like a flash in your brain. Oh, this is impossible. Why? Why? So, so you, you know you found something because this fish is a coastal fish and we found it over an ocean which is more than four kilometers deep. And it normally it, it occurs up to a maximum 82 degrees and we were at 86. So, so we thought, what is this fish doing here? Oh, amazing. Thank you. Afterwards, uh, when you analyze the fish, we found, for example, that these fish, they have been uh, living in Arctic waters for a long time, some of them. Uh, they, they, uh, they have been there for five to six years in these cold temperatures, so they can live there. And they can also live in this area, in the Atlantic water layer, because they the, the food, the zooplankton food and small fishes are also brought from the Atlantic there. So you can see this Atlantic water coming in to the central Arctic Ocean, which is very cold and hostile as a vein of life. The fish you find there are extremely important in the food web. It's the link between the zooplankton and the seals and the polar bear. So, so we, we have here a well-functioning food web that is so easily destroyed 